Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review here in Pennsylvania. Time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing My Hero Academia, Ayazawa. But yeah, before we review this guy, we're going to let it go to like 40 minutes and then we're going to get started right on the video. Let's make it 50, so. And I just got beyond my original subscriber count. Thanks to my person who would boost my subscriber count. To you, I owe you big time because I've gotten a lot more subscribers than I originally had. If by chance you're watching this video and you're one of the people who have subscribed thanks to that guy, thank you very much. I appreciate it. But now we're going to get on to looking at the action figure itself. This box. Got a nice box. And this figure is my last figure from Ross. Yes, this is the very last Ross figure I have. So we're down to the very last Ross figure, anime-wise. This was originally 10 bucks. I paid 5 bucks for it. Funimation. And I think I lost the name tag on the box, but it does have the name of the figure on the back. And it's made by McFarlane. Ayazawa, that's his name. He's a teacher at UA High School. Other than that, nice product shot of the action figure itself. Pretty good. Paint and sculpting. But now we're done with the box. Let's look at the action figure itself. This figure is really well done, really well sculpted and painted. Like the five inch line from McFarlane, no bend at the knee, but can kick forward that far. But I'm afraid I'm going to break him. He's really tight. Head can move slightly. Other than that, a really good figure. Hands down, I love this figure. But now we're going to get down to comparison. We're going to compare him with some other 5-inch McFarlane My Hero Academias. Here he is next to Bad Old Stain. Because Stain is a creepy dude. Why not? From the anime. His students. Here we got Todoroki. If I can get him to stand. Perfect. Of course, we got... Ida, a.k.a. Ingenium. We got the kid who is... I forget his real name, but his hero name is Red Riot. Why not? Dare I say why not? Some McFarlane... Not McFarlane, but Loyal Subjects action figures in the same scale. We got Sue, a.k.a. Asui. Uraraka. See, I got the names memorized for these figures. A little All Might. Or I called him Mini Might that one time in that skit, if you remember that. <laughs> as much as I do. Todoroki. I got two of him. Now with some bigger than three and three quarter inch figures. Got Ayazawa, you just fell over on the job. Here we have Ayazawa next to Shigaraki from the League of Villains, which I do have. I want them to do the other figures of the League of Villains, because we need the entire set, I think. They did all. They did the guy from the Asaikai. They need to do the League of Villains more, I think. Of course... Here he is next to his fellow teacher and hero, All Might. They look 
Greg together with another UA student Vermillion. If I can get him to stand. He's so tight on my copy and he and he's doesn't like to stand up. Of course, Udaraka. Why not? Dare I say why not? I do have Midoriya around here somewhere, but I'm I lost his misplaced his head somewhere in the room. So I find his head or if I get a new one, I'll have to just Wait till I get a new one or a place to find his missing head. But now we're going to do a group shot on how many My Hero Academias do we own. Starting with the bigger than three and three quarter inch deluxes. We got... Going to have to use the backdrop for a little... Hold these guys up. Oh, Shigaraki. Doesn't want to stand. So how many deluxes do we own? We own about four McFarlane deluxes. How many five inch figures do we own? We'll show you. There's three five inches. Four five inches and five five inch action figures. Oh, Todoroki <laughs> wanted to fall down on the job. And how many loyal subjects small figures do we own? Then we'll do a count on how many figures we have here. And then we'll end the video. Oh, Ayazawa and Uraraka fell over. Sometimes these figures like to go fall over, and I just did it again. Ugh. Can I ever cut a break in this case? Okay, one more little small figure. And now we got all the My Hero Academia figures I own. How many do I own this year? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We own thirteen My Hero Academia action figures. And why do I like My Hero Academia? Because it's a superhero anime, and I enjoy some superhero animes. And I'm so glad to add Ayazawa to the collection of My Hero. I still gotta track down all. I still gotta track down the leader of the Asaikai villain group. And Todoroki just fell down. I still gotta track down Bakugo. And all, and the cape, all might, and the uh, non-cape, all might, different from my custom. But other than that, we got quite a few figures in this collection, and I think this figure collection is worth adding to any superhero action figure collector. I highly recommend these. My Hero is one of the best anime series that came out, and I'm so glad to add all these great superheroes to my cast. It'll be great when I have a whole set of these super figures. And people be like, man, he must really like my hero. Because it's a great superhero anime. Now I'm going to end this video stating all I, what I liked about the line and the anime. So this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.